I think I have time to come check this storm out, see what it's doing, and then uh, double back south toward Hartzell where there's more storms heading in from the west. Uh, I'm probably going to be real close, a close call as to whether I'll see anything with this storm. Uh, the hail indication on uh, Gibson Ridge software is half inch, which probably means it's not even that when it hits when it gets to the ground. These are low top storms, though. There's some very cold air aloft, and as that gets closer into North Alabama, uh, we may see some significant hail in a couple of these storms. But it's 516. That's what it looks like on radar right now, and that's what it looks like approaching from the south. We got some some low hanging clouds. Um, Heading in, I'm about to the belt line. I'm not thinking that's a wall cloud, although there's a, although there's a nice little notch on this, uh, on the radar. We shall see. That's why I'm here. Um, if there is a hail core, I think it's straight ahead of us. Yeah, the radar is updated in it, so. That's it, right in front of us, right over Decatur. We are so close to it though here, I'm gonna go ahead and run up a little closer to see it before it gets out of here completely. This would be the place where there would be some hail if we get it. It's hailing. getting larger. 521. Fifty seven degrees. Gets on the uh, radar showing it going more to the east, but the uh, the the box, the polygon has it going more toward the northeast. Uh, I'm, I'm just north of downtown Hartsell, heading south. That's what I'm thinking, so I'm going to go down at least uh, south of Hartsell and then decide if I need to go down to Faultville, probably. 552, Faultville, Alabama. Today we have the The stability in the atmosphere is quite low right now, so that's why I'm not as low as the of 
producing a prime tomato, but it could produce a small tomato uh, with short notice because it does have some, some things that are attention. I'm going to do another path here to give you about a 35 mile an hour path on that. And looking at where that's going, I'm going to bend that path just to get to there. Now, City's in the path of that storm. Yeah, Somerville will probably be right on the edge of that. And I'm not sure why Somerville didn't show up. I'm going to do this path slightly different. And the circulation will be about right there. And go ahead. Some of the information coming down to us from AP, uh, a tornado warning remains in effect until 615 for eastern Winston County. Um, and the National Weather Service said that at about 544 our time, uh, they did detect a tornado that was located near Winston County Airport for uh, eight miles northwest of Arley, moving east at about 30 miles. Yeah, east of 30. And I just gave this an east speed of around 34 miles an hour. The winds are getting a little stronger as we get closer to the sun. Um, and that warning remains in effect now. And I can't clear you in Double Springs. You are all clear. Uh, they have redesigned that warning just to basically include the Addison area. If you're within eight or nine miles of Addison in Winston County, you're under the warning. If you live north of Arley, you're under a tornado warning. If you live south of Arley, you're okay. It's passing away. It's now hailing. You heard a roar and then what else? Not at all. It's hail too. How big was the hail? Quarter size. I can't hear you. Quarter size. Quarter sized hail. Did